Ms. Caru, I would say that if I were a Christian, I would say the Bible is the document by which we ought to live by. If I were a Hindu, I would say the Gita. If yeah. I were a Muslim, I would say the Quran. Mm -hmm. And we see many of you politicians on a weekly basis, on the ritual of going to pray and mm -hmm. seek supplication from a higher yeah. authority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet in all these years, Christianity yeah. has not bound, Islam has not bound, Hinduism has not bound the, Ken the conduct of Kenyans. And so therefore, again, I'm going to say all very well and good, the Constitution, why should the Constitution guide Kenyans to a much greater degree than the Bible. We've had presidents who've gone to Mass and presidents who've gone to church every single Sunday and still managed to pillage the economy. I think, uh, John, you're dwelling on the failings of human beings. Indeed the I fact am. that we Indeed are fallible. And I'm also suggesting that fact, you are a human the being fact, and therefore you might fail as well. The fact that we are fallible does not mean that we cease trying. Otherwise, you would have stopped to exist because why we exist is that we have a hope of a better tomorrow and we do our best even in a membership club you're thrown out when you don't obey the rules there has to be something regulating our relationship within the society our relationship with those we have asked to govern the society and the constitution is that regulatory framework we must obey it and there are sanctions for not obeying it and all that is required is to the best of our ability. And when you fall short, you are sanctioned by the same documents. So I do not think that even in religion, a Christian will say, because I'm human, I'm fallible, I better not believe in anything. I do not think that's the way to go. In a country, we'll be calling for anarchy. And we have seen the sort of thing that is happening in this country today. Deterioration of security, public services because they are affected by corruption and impunity and I'm urging people of this country, the voters, to identify like I have corruption and impunity as the greatest threat to the nation of Kenya and its citizens. Mm -hmm. And I pledge to deal with this decisively using our constitution so that we can be able to enjoy a civil society, a country where we can thrive. It seems to me yeah. that your solution has to do with the top-down mechanism. The leaders will tell us what to do. Now, I seem to uh, think that um, it was meant to be grassroots, bottom-up, that made societies better. And in, again, to, to go to the American sort of thing, or the, you have two sort of polarized people. You have uh, died in the wool, capitalists and you have died in the wall socialists yeah. and they sort of yo-yo between saying socialist policies republicans versus uh, democrats labor versus the conservatives the french government is there a parallel to that kind of equilibrium in kenyan society and are you by definition a capitalist or a socialist to begin with you cannot say that it's a top-down approach the constitution is the not the document of leaders is a document negotiated, voted for by universal suffrage, by Kenyans. So this is the closest, the grassroots person, the Kenyan individual and the Kenyan uh, citizenry can be able to give direction to their leader through that di uh, negotiated document. So that's a bottom-up approach where the people are supreme. And that's what our constitution says. Whether I'm a capitalist or socialist, more towards the socialist and all over the world. But that would be enough anywhere else. Let me, in let the me world. just if you go. Said let me just you finish. Be re that in the US, for example. It doesn't matter. Right. Everywhere, even the ha diehard capitalists are now speaking socialist. I went to a convention in Europe. They're talking of social market economy. Before they've been talking of market economy, now they've made it social. Why? Even the capitalists are realizing that you cannot have a system that does not reach out to the vulnerable, that that society is bound to fail. So everybody is coming towards the middle. Therefore, yes, social welfare system, thinking of how to cushion that underprivileged, just the same way we do in our 
families, if you have a brother or a sister who is less fortunate than you, you will find that you will not let them suffer. You reach out and help them. A country is a larger society than a nuclear family, than the extended family. So we reach out to the vulnerable. And that's what social uh, democrats do. And uh, now Kenya, is, we are social democrats, if you like. Ms. Karua, I'm still on this tangent. We're going back yeah. to this idea of our history. Yeah. And I remember, those of us who are old enough to remember, such as myself, the reference to sessional paper number 10 that went... Of 1964. Uh, and, and, and charted, and charted a, a path that Kenya was trying to lead, yeah. which has led us to our present condition. Yeah. Under your leadership, under your government, you are going to undo the rabid acquisition of wealth that has dominated the f first 50 years of I our existence. I don't think so. We are not undoing any acquisition of wealth. But then it's those, just but making then, people then those, respect but then those public have, property. Those who have wealth will see you as an enemy. They will see will, me and wrongly. They will, and they will direct them, they, their money as, as they did for the Republican candidate in the elections, mm. if you follow. And they failed. To make sure. And they failed. And they failed. But Happily. they failed as a, as a... And they will fail even here. Mm. And what I'm saying is this, that even but for those... But there's a groundswell of, of Kenyan even history, not American history. those who have wealth right. need a, an orderly system, right. need a system where their wealth can even thrive further. So having an orderly society is not about... It's not good only for those underprivileged. It's for everybody. You don't want but at what to point, have your at business point, robbed. At what point are you going to try and streamline the world's greatest millionaire factory worker to say cut down on your profits because or tax them to a point Nobody. where you build roads? They're going to say my profit margin is Aren't quite we nice. doing it right here? How do we get taxes? We are trying to make it as though there is a new system that is being brought. It's order. Order and proper management. That's what good governance is all about. Management. How do we manage our commonwealth, our public resources? Mm -hmm. I won't care how you manage your resources. But I will care about how we manage our commonwealth. Do, are we using it to the benefit of all Kenyans? I want to see better health services. And that's why I'm talking about universal health care in all public facilities. The wealthy can continue going to the private hospital, but that person who has no other alternative needs access to health. We're talking of universal mm. education from primary to secondary level so that my child, just like the child of any other Kenyan, irrespective of their financial situation, is able to access quality education. We're talking of quality university education. We are not talking of free university education but a system closer to what was there when I went to Nairobi University, when I could get the three basics, accommodation, tuition, and meals. That equalizes the child of the poor, the child of the rich. We are talking about having better security, having um, support to our medium there's, and there's small there's enterprises to right. create jobs. Yeah, Ms. Kara, what, yeah. there's some of the, what, when you say things like having better security, yeah. It seems to me that the reason we have the security situation as it is, is yeah. that basically we don't have uh, the wherewithal to, to secure our borders. That's not, we that's, have everything. That, that's, not the, that's not the fault of government no, per se. No, it is. We, in this day and age, if, we if cannot I, if, be if, policing if, our borders. Ms. Karua, if, if, if I was Somali and wanted yeah. to end up in Somalia now, yeah. Yeah. I don't see why that should be a big problem if I look like everybody else on the other side of the border. What I'm Unless talking you're going about. to have in your government, there'll be a great sort of immigration thing like Israel. Or a Israel, wall, if you or like. Or a wall, yes. A no, no, no. We're not, talking like about, we're not talking about Well, a, I can see a wall a great, in my mind's eye. We're, we're not talking about a great fence wall. Us all in. And what I'm don't saying fence themselves in. Traditionally, is that we move from place to place and current... You cannot be policing whether our borders yeah. all internally without technology in this day and age. And their ways which all speaks of to money, which you're trying to suggest that, our, that there is money in government. Precisely, and which uh, goes away with the corrupt. We are losing one third by Treasury's own admission. 
one third of the budget goes to corruption so and how abuse. You, how will you and deal that with is the about how will you deal with the corrupt million. that will scare That's them to death how if they hear you say the law, now. the constitution and the law comes. And, and, that the policemen, everybody must and the account. policemen under your government will all of a sudden cease to take bribes because it's President Karua who's in. We love her so much that we won't take a bribe. I'm telling you to be somewhat Those who take bribes. Somewhat real. What are you going to do? Because I the problem exists. Can you say, in, if I'm, we were, I, I'm going to do this. If, you if are the world was full of pessimists yes. who hold the view you are marketing today, right. then there would be no world. Right. The fact that so many people are doing wrong things doesn't mean we stop to try. Once we hold everyone to account, that policeman who lets, the, 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 who lets a person come through the border the, with contraband, right. you punish them, they lose their job or get any other penalty under the we've law, got, got, tomorrow got, got, there will not be an incentive. Yes, what is killing minute. Kenya? Impunity. Minute. Yes, we've got one minute. I'll just take you to the image of yeah. the, take, the President Moy leaves and Kenyans feel yeah. a great urge. They stop Matatu drivers. It's great national... And something has happened since then. Yes, yeah, yeah, so tell us how we shall recreate a great in, in, in potential. One yes. A great potential has been unleashed. We can see our economy thriving, right. but we need to fight corruption and impunity to enjoy this potential that is being unleashed. And it is your responsibility, my responsibility as voters, to usher in a government that can decisively fight corruption and impunity and put the interests of Kenyans first. And that team leader is me. Thank you very much.